morning, everybody. Happy midweek Wednesday. It is soggy outside, no question about it. The good news is the steadiest, heaviest showers, well, they're done with for a while. We still have a couple of lingering showers that are rather light from southeastern Milwaukee County, right along the lake through Racine, Kenosha counties, and then up along Sheboygan uh, County. You're seeing a few showers there as well along the lake. Most of the rest of the area just actually kind of damp from the showers we got overnight. You will encounter some drizzle drops and even perhaps some patchy fog as well. But... If you're someone living in Waukesha County and you're looking, uh, we're kind of looking to the north northwest of our Waukesha County Tower Cam number two toward Pewaukee, and you get to see a sky like this with a few bright spots in the pre dawn glow, enjoy it because it's not going to last. This is about the brightest our skies have been for a couple of days. And they're not going to be much brighter than that as we go through the rest of the day and the clouds fill back in. In your weather headlines, well, it's going to be a wet Wednesday overall. Still a chill to the air with rounds of rain rolling at us over the next couple of days. Just won't be as heavy as we've seen. 42 right now in West Bend and Port, also in Sheboygan. 45 for you fine folks waking up with us in Waukesha and also Chocolate City, USA and Lake Geneva. It's 48 for Milwaukee through Racine and Kenosha. Uh, 30s up to our northwest, so a cooler air mass working its way in, and that'll settle over southeastern Wisconsin tomorrow. Look at this massive spin. I mean, this is incredible. Uh, this counterclockwise rotation in the atmosphere as we continue to have this wobbling low pressure stacked from the surface up above our heads, meandering across the area, and as it does, we'll continue to have the wet weather around. So your storm team forecast for today, early fog and drizzle, and then we'll see later on in the day some showers that redevelop a bit cool with highs near 53. For tonight, more rain will still be mild, down to about 40 degrees. Tomorrow on our Thursday, showers and sprinkles likely again and very chilly again. If we're lucky, we touch 50 degrees. We should be closer to 60 this time of year. Areas of rain again tomorrow night and down to a seasonal 41. Here's your storm team 10 day outlook. And I think we're going to have to keep a risk of an isolated shower in the picture on Friday with clouds winning out over the sun. Saturday, an isolated shower, but I do think we see more sunshine on Saturday and a dry day on Sunday. Why don't we just focus on Sunday right now? Because that may be the best out of the next <laughs> All right. 10. Kayla. All right, it works for me. Thanks, Scott. Good morning, everybody.